Hey guys, my new graphics card just arrived from Newegg. Uh, it's the MSI N560 GTX Ti Hawk Edition. It's clocked at 950 megahertz. Uh, and yeah, so it's saying they have propeller blade that's 20% more airflow than the standard uh, stock sink or fan, whatever. It's got DirectX 11. MSI Afterburner, uh, NVIDIA CUDA, SLI, PhysX, and NVIDIA 3D Vision ready. So on the sides, it talks about the same thing. Let's check the back. In the back, well, it says the same thing as the front. Um, the minimum requirements, you guys can look at that later. So let's open up the flap. It's got triple over voltage, 8 plus on face, PWM design, PS switch. Uh, oh, so you can change your uh, fan to performance or silence. Uh, it's got Miller Z2 class components, which just means it'll last longer and it's more high quality. Um, a thermal compound or thermal comparison. The uh, it's supposed to be 17 degrees cooler than the reference GTX 560. Plus that nickel plated copper base, multiple heat pipes, direct contact design, high density heat sink. Uh, it's got. So I'm gonna open it. And that's the card, and I'll be back. Okay, so here are the cards. So, here's the Enforcer 3 cooler logo. Uh, comes with two. CIE power cable if your power supply doesn't have this. And I'll need that. And, huh. I think these are the heat check cables. I don't know. I'm probably not going to be able to use that, anyways. So, I'm going to here. It's got Lara Croft the game. And I think it's for Steam. I don't know. Uh, the driver, but you should get it online. It says, yep, download the latest right there. Hawk series. Uh, manual? Or. No, it's just features. Just kick user guide. DVI, or, yeah, DVI to VGA, mini HDMI to HDMI, and that's it, so, okay, so here's the card, it's got the Twin Frozer 3 logo, MSI right there, the MSI Hawk down there, uh, it's also got this bracket, or whatever it's called and it's supposed to uh, prevent the PCB from bending when you uh, put it in your case and yeah it's got the SLI here it has the dual DVI and the mini HDMI it's got the MSI back exhaust so this is a two slotted card it's got a huge heat sink or heat pipes and what is oh yep and this is the switch and there's a switch to switch from performance and silent for your fans and looks like it's gonna keep a lot of the heat inside to the inside of your case instead of the outside because the fan, uh, the heat pipes, or 
right there. It's coming out right there. You can't really see it. Anyways, I'm gonna get this installed. Uh, I just got, I forgot to say, it's got one four pin or six pin and one six or two six pin. <laughs> wow. All right. See you guys in a few. <clears throat> hey guys, so I got my case open. Uh, I'm gonna be replacing my GT520 with the uh, MSI N560 Ti Hawk. Oh, I forgot to open it. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna route the power cables through here. Probably come out here or here. Here, here. And yeah. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I'm probably gonna use my uh, screwdriver for the lock instead of the Cooler Masters toolless version because the cooler is pretty heavy and I'm just uh, scared it's not gonna hold. But we'll see. So, yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, so I finally installed it, the whole thing's finished, and I just need to uh, test it out on some games. Alright, so uh, the benchmarks and game stuff, I guess, I'll record some, uh, it'll be on my next video, so yeah, look out for that one, later.